everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be testing out this iridescent watercolour medium from Windsor and Newton. I purchased this as part of my Amazon art haul so if you haven't seen that video I will link it below. Okay so let's get straight into testing this watercolour medium out. So I'm going to be testing out this watercolour medium it's the Iridescent Medium by Windsor & Newton and it comes in this 75ml bottle. It's sort of a shimmery silver medium so I'm really looking forward to testing this out by mixing it in with my watercolours but also layering it on top of my watercolours to see what different effects I can achieve. In the bottle you can see that it has got this slight pearlescent look to it which is going to help us give that metallic look to our actual watercolour. The lid is a child lock style lid and you just push it down to then open. So you push down and twist and then it opens up quite easily. So it's got a really nice little swirl in there with the glittery effect when you pour it out of the bottle and I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to swatch my plain colours first without any of the iridescent medium. These ones will be saved to swatch the medium over the top and then I'm going to mix some of that watercolour medium into my paint directly. So we'll start with the very vibrant green. This almost looks luminous, it's so bright. Okay, so I'm going to mix in my medium now into my watercolour. So the watercolour medium, when it's in a solid form, or when it's all together like this, it's got quite a sticky texture. So it's quite sort of gloopy. And we'll see how it mixes into this green. And right away I can see how that changes and it's got that shiny, shiny iridescent finish to it. Okay so I can see flecks of silver throughout my green paint and I'm going to add this to my page. My red doesn't look that good because I accidentally got a little bit of blue in there as well so it's given it a slight purple tint. So one thing I would say about this medium is it slightly thickens that paint and it doesn't move across the page quite as easily as it would if it was just the watercolour on its own. So you will need to make sure you've got plenty of watercolour mixed up in order to mix the watercolour medium into it. I can already see how that's got a really nice glittery finish to it. So this would be a really good option if you're wanting to get a little bit of shine or glitter into your paint but you don't want to spend out on an entire watercolour set, especially if you're only going to use it on a few little pieces of your painting because I think an entire glittery or iridescent painting will be too much but just a little hint of it I think would be really good or really nice within a painting. So it does have a slight sticky consistency to it like I said and some of that does then stick to the paintbrush but as you can see it then disperses quite well into that paint. I guess the more you put in there, the, the shinier your paint will look. This looks really pretty. This is moving a lot better than that green with that medium, so definitely make sure you've got enough watercolour mixed up on your palette before putting the iridescent medium into the watercolour or mixing it with your watercolours. So now I'm going to swatch the iridescent medium directly over these three colours just to see how that looks on top of our paints once they are dry. We'll have a look and compare what the medium is like mixed into the paint and also painted directly on top of the paint. I think you'd be able to do this in layers so if you wanted a really highly pigmented or a highly iridescent area you could layer more of this iridescent medium over the top of your work. So you could do a few layers if you wanted to. The thing 
that makes it iridescent is the tiny little flecks of silver. So it's kind of like little bits of silver suspended within the medium. So almost like a glitter really, suspended in the watercolour medium. As you can see, the iridescent medium is a lot more subtle once it's actually mixed in with the paint. Um, whereas when it's layered on top, it gives this very bright silver effect on top of the paint that is swatched. So if you're wanting for a more subtle shimmer, then definitely try mixing it into your paints. But if you want to get a really bright highlight with a bit of a shimmer to it, then you can use it directly from the bottle. So those are the swatches of the iridescent medium. I'm going to get started. I'm using my Paul Rubens hot pressed watercolour paper sketchbook and I'm going to paint just a little geode because I think it would really lend itself to the iridescent medium. So I'm going to get started and I'm just going to have a little bit of fun using that watercolour medium in my painting and just experimenting with it really. So I'm going to use a mixture of the paints mixed with the iridescent medium and I'm also going to add some to my painting once it's dry as well just to see how it looks incorporated into my painting. I'm going to be using this masking fluid within the center point of my geode and again I will link this in the description box in case you're interested in purchasing it. I've had it for a while and it's pretty good so I would recommend. I've got a fine point masking fluid marker but you can get different points so I would give it a go if you're looking to try a really simple masking fluid. It does get a bit clogged up around the nib so that's one thing that I would say about it. Okay, so as you can see, where I applied the watercolour medium directly on top of my paint, it's a lot more metallic looking. Whereas where I mixed it into my actual paints around here, it's a lot more subtle. I have given this watercolour medium a good test and for me personally I prefer it to be mixed in with my watercolour paints because it's slightly more subtle than when painted directly over the top and I do prefer that more subtle metallic look within the paint. I think you can do some absolutely brilliant things with this watercolour medium and I would 100% recommend it for an alternative to an entire metallic watercolour paint set because those metallic paints can be quite pricey whereas this watercolour medium cost me less than £8. So if you're wanting to try out metallics but you don't want to spend out on an entire watercolour set then definitely try this out. It doesn't give a true iridescent finish, it is more of a silver fleck within the paints but it still does give a really nice effect and finish to the paints. If you have enjoyed today's video and you have found it useful please do give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe, I've got loads of really good videos coming up so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on those ones and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!